The 10 Vatican Hidden Secrets That Will Leave You Inspired. Welcome back ladies and gentlemen to our channel. Today we embark on a fascinating journey to explore the hidden secrets and intriguing facts about the Vatican. Get ready to uncover the lesser-known aspects of this captivating city. But before we dive in, be sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell, so you never miss an episode on the wonders of the world around us. And don't forget to leave a comment below about any of these secrets that made you astonished. Number 10, What the Vatican Walls Are Made Of The Vatican Wall is made of bricks and tuff, a type of volcanic rock. It is about 3.2 kilometers, 2 miles long, and 36 feet, 11 meters. The wall has 44 towers, which were originally used for defense. Today, the towers are mostly used as bell towers or observation points. The Vatican Wall was built in the 9th century by Pope Leo IV to protect the Vatican from invaders. The wall was further fortified in the 16th century by Pope Pus IV. Today, the wall serves more as a symbolic boundary and a way to regulate access to the Vatican City. The wall is topped with a crenellated walkway, which was used by guards to patrol the wall. The wall has several gates, including the Porta Santana, the Porta Angelica, and the Porta Santa. Porta Angelica is one of the main gates of the Vatican and is located along the Leonine Wall. It serves as the primary entrance for visitors coming from St. Peter's Square. Number 9. Why the Vatican is surrounded by walls? The walls of the Vatican have historical roots in the need for defense. Throughout history, the Papal State, of which the Vatican City was part until 1870, faced various conflicts and invasions. Constructing walls around the Vatican was a common practice during the medieval and Renaissance periods to protect the Pope and the Church from potential threats and attacks. The walls provide a level of privacy and control over access to the Vatican City. By having controlled entry points, the Vatican can regulate the flow of visitors and ensure the security of its residents including the Pope. Number 8. Vatican is a city. Yes, the veteran city was established as an Independence Day in 1929 through the Letter Lateran Treaty between the Holy See, the ecclesiastical jurisdiction tradition of the Catholic Church and the Kingdom of Italy. This treaty resolved the long-standing dispute between the Italian government and the papacy over the state of Rome and granted the Vatican City sovereignty and independence as a city-state, the vertical city has its governance system laws, and institutions it has its own security forces portal system and even issues it its currency, the Vatican lira and more recently the euro. The Vatican City maintains a diplomatic relationship with customers with numerous countries and participate in international organizations and events. The Vatican City is the smallest internationally recognized independent state in the world. It covers an area of approximately 44 hectares making it about one-eighth the size of New York City Central Park. In terms of population, it has a small resident population with only a few hundred inhabitants most of whom are members of the clergy including the Pope himself. The Pope, as the picture of room and spiritual leaders of the Roman Catholic Church at the head of state of the Vatican the Pope exercises both spiritual and temporal authority within the Vatican and is responsible for its governance. Number 7. At several times during the Vatican's history, the Popes escaped through a secret passageway. Yes, there have been instances in history where Popes escaped or used secret passages for various reasons including during times of political unrest or threats of safety. Castle San Angelo located near the Vatican City has served as a fortress and a papal residence. It has a secret underground passageway known as the Passetto di Borgo which connects the castle to the Vatican. The Passetto was used by several popes as an escape from routine times of danger. One famous example is Pope Clement VII who used the pass for secret refuge in Castel San Angelo during the sack of Rome in 1527 when troops of the Holy Roman Emperor Charles V invaded the city. Pope Clement VII who was inside the Vatican Palace at that time, used the Passetto to escape to the safety of Castel Sant'Angelo this escape route allowed the Pope to avoid capture and potential harm. The cassette has since served as the symbolic link between the Vatican and Castel Sant'Angelo. While L it was originally built for defensive purposes it has also been used for ceremonial possessions and as a private passage for Popes to move between the two locations. It's worth noting that the cassette is just one example of a secret passageway used by the Vatican there are many more. Number 6, The Vatican Secret Archives. The Vatican Secret Archives contain an extensive collection of documents spanning many centuries including, papal correspondence, historical records, papal bulls, decrees, diplomatic correspondence, and other important materials related to the governance, history, and activities of the Catholic Church. 
The collection includes documents from as early as the 8th century, making it a valuable reason for historical research. The archives were officially established in there by Pope Paul V in 1612 although the preservation of papal records dates back much further. Over the years, the archive has grown in size and significance and it continues to be actively maintained and expanded to this day. It is worth noting that the Vatican archives are not open to the general public. Number 5, St. Peter's Basilica sits at the top of a city of the dead including its namesake's tomb. St. Peter's Basilica in Vatican City is situated atop a necropolis, which includes the tomb traditionally believed to be that of St. Peter one of the twelve apostles of Jesus Christ and the first pope according to the current tradition and historical account St. Peter was martyred in Rome during the reign of the Emperor Nero in the first century AD. It is believed that he was buried in a simple grave within the Vatican necropolis. The presence of St. Peter's stone holds immersed significance for the Catholic Church. St. Peter is regarded as the first pope and the foundational figure of the church so the location of the tomb is considered sacred. Number 4. Who built with Vatican Church? The construction of the Vatican, the primary church within the Vatican City was a monumental undertaking that spanned several centuries and involved the work of numerous architects, artists, and craftsmen. Pope Julius II initiated the project in the early 16th century. He commissioned the renowned architect Donata Bramante to create a plan for a new basilica that would replace the old St. Peter's Basilica, which was in a state of decay. Donata Bramante an Italian architect designed the initial plan for the new basilica in the style of the High Renaissance his design features a centralized Greek cross floor plan with a massive dome at the center. Bernini, an Italian architect and sculptor played a crucial role in shaping the overall appearance of St. Peter's Basilica during the 17th century. He designed the monumental colonies in front of the basilica the impressive baldachin over the main altar, and the massive bronze statues in the piazza. Numerous auto I can text an artist contributed to the construction and decoration of St. Peter's Basilica over the centuries, including Antonio de San Gallo the Younger, Giacomo della Porta, Domenico Fontana, and others. Number 3, How did the Vatican become a country? The loss of the Papal States before the establishment of Vatican City, the Papal States encompassed a significant portion of central Italy, with the Pope serving as the spiritual leader of the Catholic Church and the ruler of these territories. However, in the 19th century, the Papal States faced increasing challenges from Italian nationalist movements seeking to unify the Italian peninsula. In the capture of Rome in 1870, the Kingdom of Italy, led by King Victor Emmanuel II captured Rome and effectively ended the temporal power of the Pope. The Papal States were incorporated into the new Italian states and the Popes considered themselves prisoners within the Vatican. The Lateran Treaty signed on February 11, 1929, recognized Vatican City as an independent state. It granted sovereign authority to the Holy See over Vatican City while acknowledging Italy's sovereignty over the surrounding areas the treaty also addressed various matters including the protection of religious freedom and financial compensation for the loss of the Papal States, and the recognition of Catholicism as the state religion of Italy. As a result of the lateral treaty, Vatican City was officially established as an independent state within Rome. It occupies a small area of about 44 hectares and is governed by the Pope who acts as the absolute monarch. Number 2, Popes refuse to leave Vatican. There have been various historical instances where Popes choose not to leave the Vatican for extended periods the reason behind those decisions can be attributed to practice such as the loss of temporal power, after the capture of Rome in the 1870s, the Papal States were incorporated into the newly unified Kingdom of Italy. This marked the end of the temporal power of the popes, as they no longer ruled over the territorial domain. As a result, some popes viewed living in the Vatican as a symbolic concession to the loss of their temporal authority. Number 1, the Swiss Guard. The Swiss Guard is a small ceremonial military force that serves as the official bodyguard of the popes and protects Vatican City. The Swiss Guard was established in 1506 by Pope Julius II. At that time, the Papal States faced security challenges, and the Swiss Guard was recruited from Switzerland due to the reputation of Swiss mercenaries as skilled and loyal soldiers. The Swiss Guard is composed of Swiss citizens who are the Swiss nationality and have completed military training in Switzerland the candidates go through a rigorous selection process and those accepted serve for a specific term of service. The distinctive and colorful uniform of the Swiss Guard is based on Renaissance-era fashion. It features a blue doublet, with yellow color, red, orange, and blue striped trousers, a black beret, and a halberd as their primary weapon. 
The uniform is a historical tribute and a recognizable symbol of the Swiss Guard. And there you have it, the 10 Vatican hidden secrets that will leave you inspired. Join us next as we uncover more hidden gems and fascinating destinations around the world don't forget to like share and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more exciting content until then keep exploring thank you.